Welcome everybody as Tractor Shoot here and it's a good Monday and it's about time we get back to the games to start this baby off. It will be a 4v4. I just want to thank everybody that came out to the LAN party on Saturday. We got everybody from Banyo and Sage and Firewalker. Me and myself who plays a C Stewart. We also got Maddox Jr. Nexius came for a game. Days Assad. Don't think I'm missing anybody. That was essentially who we got out there, whether it been from their home or right at the land party location. It was a great night, put in about 8 to 12 hours before it was all said and done and packed up. So it was fairly decent. So we got ourselves a little 4v4, which was played that night. And as you can see, we do have two new members to Team Copper, at least for the time being. Whether or not they stay, we will see. In the upper middle portion of the map, it is Banyo, one of the new members to Team Copper, playing as the Yellow Zerg. And with him in his base here, it will be Sage. Coincidence? I think not. Playing as the pink Protoss is the orange Protoss. It is myself playing as C. Stewart. And as the green Protoss, it will be Firewalker, all for Team Copper. And they have to be playing another full clan. It is Scropel for MCG. It is two knives. Same team. Solistor, purple Protoss, and... Absolute as as the red Protoss. I did miss this man down here. He was an Aqua Protoss in case we're blind and could not see it. Should be a pretty decent one. This was one of the better games we had the night. It was a night full of winning. I will tell you that much. We definitely did fairly well for ourselves this night. And this was definitely one of the more memorable uh, games there. We do take a look here. It does look like Banyo's massing himself up a good old spawning pool. I don't know what we want to look at. Possibly the unit tab. See who's really going to work here. Only man that's actually got anything outside is, of course, Banyo with the two overlords, as expected, the being the only Zerg player on the map there. And does look like uh, C. Stewart's chasing around two knives there, making sure that Protoss doesn't plant anything out of the ordinary here. In the meantime there, Firewalker looks like he wants to plant down a nice early expansion. C. Stewart, myself, I am packing up that wall there with a couple of pylons, forge, and a cannon down there. And Firewalker, a good man there. He's got himself a gateway, and he's going to go with the nice Z-Lot. Going over here to the good man of Scropel. He is walling himself off there with the good old Barracks. Gateway, Cybercore. So two gates and a Cybercore for two knives. And it looks like these guys are both working to wall this off. Absolutas has himself a gateway into a Cybercore. And we have a double Barracks for Celestator. It looks like he's going to go to work. And Banyo might be losing himself an early Overlord by the looks of it here. Putting him down on the food count a very little bit there. Two Knives there is now chasing Sage <laughs> on the other end here. Probes are in the game here. They're going back and forth here with their scouting. Banyo's going across the Overlord, get himself a little bit more vision down there. And it looks like we're going to get ourselves right into a Robo. We're going to go Gateway Cybercore into a Robo. Fairly interesting. Both gases have been pounding off for that man there. So he's looking to get somewhat into a uh, techie type build here. Celestor in the meantime, he's just going to stick himself with a few Marines out here. Doesn't have any add-ons on those barracks as of yet. And we are going to go with self with three gateways going down for two knives. And looks like we're going to elect to get the reactor for Celestor. Very good choice there. Does look like a good man of Firewalker has expanded. Myself here, I'm planting down a lot of cannons. Apparently really want to wall this baby off. I guess I was expecting somebody to come up there nice and early. As I have myself only one gateway going down and three cannons. I'm also mining off of one and a half gas there as you can see. Firewalker in the meantime there, he's Chrono boosting out gateway technology. He's got himself fairly decent of a macro game going with the earliest expansion on our team. But Banyo's following it up. He will be having himself a nice little expansion. Meanwhile, the opponents, nobody expanding as of yet. As you can see on this map, you get three totally natural expansions. Very nice map uh, to expand on. I will say that much there. It makes it easy to, or a little bit, a little bit easier to defend if you really want to wall off the middle portion there. And we do have a... Uh, it's a uh, slush door with a ton of marines there. I was trying to look for a word, a, uh, a bunch, a group, um, I don't know what, a herd, a herd of marines. There's a word for you. Herd of marines for slush door. And there we go with a nice little early, uh, uh, early observer there. So that's definitely going to help them get some vision on the other end of the map there. See exactly what they're coming up against here. Warp gate technology coming down for two knives. And it looks like hit the man of Scropel has put the add-on of the reactor and is just going to pump marines out, but has supply blocked himself. So that's not really going to do him a whole lot of good. We have gone tech lab and reactor. For Celester, fairly good choice there. Imagine he's going to start getting his upgrades of Combat Shield and possibly get into maybe some Concussive Shells or might even get some stim pack. I would have to imagine there. It looks like we're going to get into a Colossi type build. It's a very good idea. Bad is going to be the first one to put a little bit of aggression on the map here. He's got dogs heading across there. They grab the middle tower with Sage. So Bad and Sage, it's like they're, they just can finish each other's sentences they kind of combine on the map by mistake you know they're like the group they're the twosome they are the partners of partners for years 
So it does, I guess it just makes sense then, eh? It looks like uh, Vaniel really wants the map vision, sending uh, over to the other two Naga Towers. So it looks like Team Copper is going to control the middle of the map at this portion here, at least know what's coming their way at the very least. And Sage, he just moves his stalker up a little bit there as he got a little bit bored there. In the meantime there, Vaniel also has this expansion, is going to town up there. Sage, in the meantime, has elected to go with uh, two gate into a robo as well. Jeez, everybody seemed to be doing the same thing as our Protoss here. Very well done there, but he also has himself three sentries. I like to see that. So he actually went uh, three gate into a robo. Very, very smart build there. It looks like myself has elected to expand. In the meantime there, Firewalker getting greedy. He's taking over Sage's expansion. <laughs> Making Sage go expand somewhere else. As he has taken over two of the three natural locations here. Very well done there. And as you can see over here, he's making up for the amount of money. He's getting in triple Stargate. Very good choice. I know myself. The same thing. There you go. Two Stargates at the at the very least here. There's the third Stargate. Getting down some more pylons. And it looks like uh, Banyan's ready to go. He's got dogs out. Sage has himself another Stalker or a Stalker following him up here. But it looks like the army and the air team is ready to move out here. That's a lot of... Wow, they got pretty much everything here. We have ourselves some Medivacs, some Marines, some Zealots, some Colossi, some Stalkers, some Observer. You name it. These guys got her. And they're going to attack right in the middle here. Could be a bit of trouble for one of the two here. I don't know if uh, Banyan and Sage are going to be able to hold this by themselves. But they might. They got a lot of dogs. They got a lot of Stalkers. And the Immortal for Sage will definitely help this out. So they'll probably end up maybe winning this engagement. Maybe not. Doesn't look like it. I uh, didn't see any force fields go down. A little bit surprising there. That definitely could have helped them out a little bit. So it looks like they're going to get pushed back. Let, apparently Sage feeling a little bit ramblish. He comes right back up there. Doesn't really do him a whole lot of good. As he gets pushed right back down here. And he's going to get out of there. Needs to save those two immortals. So very well done by getting out of there. And has himself a bunch more stalkers and zealots at the other end here. And they're just going to start pushing Banyo's expansion. I don't know if there's anything they can do with it. Might end up losing it here. We'll see whether or not they can defend it. They're going to try and move their way in there either way here. Uh, Sage says no. It doesn't look like he can do too, too much. Doesn't want to get too far in there by losing and end up losing a couple units that he doesn't need to. So he take down Banyo's expansion right away. At the same time, they're all one basing it so nobody's actually expanded on the other side here uh they're gonna finish off that last little spine car there and they're gonna try and push forward here a couple units maybe get caught in positions but it looks like they're gonna continue through and look at the class i count is it up to two now so that's definitely not gonna help too much here let's get rid of that unit tab takes up way too much room on a 4v4 so they're gonna start pushing really hard here i don't know if sage is gonna have enough to guard this off here well i do know but i'm not gonna tell you if he does or not so he's gonna get pushed really hard at this point in time here uh, gets right back into his base here, or right back into Firewalker's base, I guess, there. Colossi are going to continue to go to work on the high ground before they even warp in. Very well done. And they're just going to push as hard as they can here. Colossi is still going to work here. In the meantime, do, do, do they have support? Yes, they do. See, Stuart, myself, is coming in with the Void Rays. Don't know if I want to get too far in there. Uh, might end up losing with overextended prismatic alignment. Did end up going down there. But, of course, they are attacking the Marines, so that's really not helping. Would be very useful against these stalkers. Lose all of my Void Rays there. And they're going to continue to go to work on Firewalker's stuff here. There isn't a whole lot they, that uh, Team Copper can do at this point there. They're in a lot of trouble. Two knives continue to go here. If we look, we do have three, uh, one Void Ray on the map. Three more Stargates going to work here. Meanwhile, Fireworker, he's trying to spit out units up here. They're just losing their bases here. There's not much they can do here. GG by Firewalker. He feels they're out of the game. Whether or not he leaves, we're going to find out here. Going to work on my base as well there. They got a bunch of Stalkers in there. Going to work on my probes. Very well done by these guys. Marines are going to work on the Nexus. There goes the Nexus. This should pretty much be it. Firewalker loses his Nexus here. A lot of trouble. Uh, looks like Banyo in the meantime sending dogs across the map here. They're going to get in the middle. GG from the other team as well here. They should pretty much have this wrapped up. They're pushing on my base here. Very, very hard. Going to work on the cannons. Uh, looks like I got a few Void Rays that are going to try and get out of there. I'm coming back for the attack though. And look at him go to work. They're focusing down my pylon. Very, very helpful as we have Void just melting Stalkers. And look at the amount of Stalkers going down here. A couple end up getting underneath there. End up finishing them all off. Uh, at least uh, most of them anyways. Got a couple more left there. Whether or not they're going to extend. Yes, it does end up chasing them all. Banyo in the meantime helping on the ground there with the dogs. Uh, if we take a look over here, they got a lot of standing units, not doing a whole heck of a lot there. Sage maintaining his army. He's accumulated quite a bit sitting in his base here. Looks like dogs are going to keep him out of the base here. Firewalker also has a couple Void Rays up here. So C. Stewart left with two Void Rays. Firewalker's got a couple Void Rays. They're moving right into Sage's base. Sage has to hold his own good micro out of him here. He is stutter stepping him a bit here. Wants to stay out of range of those Colossi here. Unless he can get some good shots on him with the Immortal here. Does get a few more shots. Zealots are continuing to chase him back here. Uh, could be in a lot of trouble there. Needs to get rid of that last Zealot. Now he's trying to push in towards the uh, Colossi there. Tries to focus some good micro to move to the back there. Oh, Sage might have over pushed there on the move command. Or not really on the move command. But was chasing down the other Colossi. He got right on the inside there. Ends up taking one out there. So very well done by Sage. Uh, in the meantime there, there's really going to work here on C well, my base here. They push Banyol down there and pretty much have unpowered everything. Nothing left. Got one more Void Ray coming out of here. Take a look at the other end. Looks like they are attacking. 
Firewalker and C. Stewart going to work here with their voids at the other end. Doesn't look like the other team's macroing at all or doing anything. Oh, maybe they got a few units here. Two Knights is going to come in and try and save this here. Uh, prismatic alignment does look like it went down there, so very well done. That's definitely going to melt the buildings really quickly here. Take a look up here. They're basically finishing off my base. Up here, it looks like we got a few units for Absolutas. Very well done there. And it looks like Sage still has a very good army. Very well done there to maintain that army. In the meantime there, let's see what Sage is up to here. Our Banyo, sorry. Banyo is going to work here with essentially sticking with the dogs by the looks of it here. I don't see any other buildings there, but we'll take a look at the good old units tab here. Does look like he has himself uh, 13 dogs on the map here. We do have the five Void Rays of uh, Firewalker there. Also got ourselves five, there are five Void Rays of Firewalker. So that's five Void Rays of myself there. So very well done. That gives him 10 Void Rays altogether. Do have 11 Stalkers and two Immortals for Sage. So very well done there. And we also got ourselves on the air team, 34 Marines, 13 Marines. Uh, got ourselves about 47, a Colossi, a Stalker, some Zealots. A couple of Stalkers out of our good man of two knives. Two knives doesn't really have a whole lot. He's not doing a whole, whole bunch there. Doesn't look like they finished off Firewalker's uh, rest of his expansions here. They left a couple of my buildings here, but they're going to work on him here, trying to finish off everything they can here. But these voids are just cleaning house out of mine and Firewalker's here, so very well done there. In the meantime there, we'll take a look. Sage is maintaining his own here, making sure their army doesn't get in the finish off their base. Very well done. Bunch of dogs there. They're going to maintain this ground here. They basically take out everything at this end of the map here. So have maintained it to, to where they can rebuild themselves. Look at this. No real internal damage done to these guys. Very good defend on their base. Banyo and Sage looking good on Team Copper here. Very well done. Meanwhile, it looks like these guys are ready to retreat. I think that Sage is going to be ready for them at the bottom of the ramp there. Oh, it looks like Bane Link's coming out of our uh, Banyo here. So very well done there. And there it looks like it's focusing firing, focus firing down the pylons here. Trying to unpower everything here. So very well done by Firewalker and myself here. Looks like a bunch of Marines are coming in here. This could be trouble. They did end up stimming up here. Looks like we're retreating right out of there. Very well done. There would have been a lot of trouble. Probably would have lost all of our voids there if we had stayed. Might end up losing one in the meantime there. It doesn't look like he's going to get out. No. So I end up losing one. Firewalker went the other way here. He's trying to get out of there now as the Marines are continuing to chase him down here. They did run out of their stim a little bit. Whether or not he'll be able to get out of there, I'm not entirely sure. But he does actually get out of there. So very well done there. And over here does look like Sage is pushing himself towards the middle here. Taking out a few of the proxies in the middle. And it looks like it's time to move them bailings out here. So Banyo and Sage are going to push themselves up here. And see whether or not they can get to the other side of the map. Start doing some damage hopefully uh, towards purple and red. As they're really the ones that are still looking pretty good here. Rebuilding happening for Shiropi here. Still has himself a fair bit of units. But in the meantime there it looks like an expansion going down. Uh, looks like myself is taking down Celestor there. So C. Stewart looking pretty good. But Absolutus comes in with his stalkers. Trying to retreat out there. Only one Void Ray left. Does end up saving him. Gonna go to work on a few of the SCVs. Ended up getting them off the mineral line. Sage and Banyo finally across the map here. So they're gonna look to push pretty hard. They have very big armies. We do have a bunch of pinging going on here. They do see the Marines coming up there. Definitely a lot of Marines making their way up. And looks like Banyo and Sage have balled up together. It looks like they're gonna start pushing pretty hard here. Should be able to knock this command center down fairly easily, I would have to imagine. Uh, let's see, do we end up with anything up here? Yes, they are going to push back finally here. Oh, Banelin's going to town. They're getting a couple good shots off there. Oh, they can't get in there. Way too many Marines on Stim. Uh, definitely, Banelin's won't be able to do too, too much there. Yeah, most of them end up going down before they get in there. But they did do quite a bit of damage to go quite a bit of Marines. Sage is pushing hard. He's got way too many Stalkers for these guys to deal with here. And as well as his Immortals taking a lot of damage there. And it looks like Firewalker's got a lot of voids on the upper area. Look at him go to work on these guys here. They're going to start pushing towards the base here. They will unpower the gateway and the cyber core by taking out that pylon. But it looks like he decides to focus down the cyber core instead. A uh, fairly good choice, I guess, there. It looks like GG's are coming out of him here. Their team's starting to leave. It looks like Team Copper's going to pull this off. No blinking happen on the other side of the map there. Banyo's bringing a few more units in here. Looks like uh, myself, C. Stewart, has decided to start rebuilding his uh, expansion at this point in game there. And it does look like this should pretty much be the end of it here as they are just pushing away at purple here. Purple's the only one that's really sticking, I do believe, unless he already left and I did miss that here. And it looks like his partner here, Absolutus, still mining away. Feels like he might be able to do something here. But it looks like the Voids of Firewalker are going to get right in there. And they're going to start wrecking these pylons here. Unpower absolutely everything, which will do him absolutely no good for Absolutus. Won't be able to warp anything else in here. Sage finishing off everything he can here. Very well done by Team Copper. I give my congrats to Banyo Sage. Firewalker and myself, C. Stewart. Very well done, boys. Looks like it couldn't come through, but it looks like you pulled it off. I'm sure eventually these guys will leave, and we can leave you with the saying of the day, and there you go, Team Copper victorious. Leaving you with this. If you're flying in an airplane over top of the Atlantic Ocean, you've never, ever seen a snake on the ground, you know it's that time for Thanksgiving dinner. You be good. Don't hurt nobody. Peace.